Welcome to the Box to Path show, where we dive deep into the realms of education and financial literacy. We blend insights on college education, career prospects, and the necessary financials to stay on your past. I'm your host, Thirish Nohari Siddi, and today I am thrilled to have our co-host, Dr. Gordon Chu. Dr. Chu is not just an author, innovator, investor, and scientist, but also a visionary who has completed Warden's Advanced Management Program and Harvard's Business Analytics Program. He has co-founded his startup, Fingra, in February of 2023, and has won that year's Global Tech Technology Prize for the Harvard Business School New Venture Competition. I am also joined by one of my friends, Alex Wong, who is a senior at Murray Ridge High School, who will be asking Dr. Chu some questions. Let's welcome Dr. Chu and Alex Wong. Hi. Here I am. Hi, Alex. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, do you have any questions for Dr. Chi? Yeah. So, I guess my first question kind of touches on um, college and um, potential career paths. So, mm-hmm. I wanted to ask, do you think it's worth going, oh, for people who want to become doctors, do you think it's worth going to college and medical school um, for maybe like eight, 10 years and then finally landing that job? Or do you think it'd be better for people to try and aim for, you know, top schools and potentially making the money they want to make um, as early as possible. Mm. That's an interesting question. Um, so, you know, in, in, in life, um, we, we tend to um, do things that we, we see. And if we go back in time, we, we look at people watch television and then they get, that's why it's called television programming. And you end up seeing, oh, that's good. That looks good. And there's a lot of marketing behind that um, that kind of feeling, especially if you saw it in a drama and you said, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, this is, this is really what it's about. And then you find out in life as you get older or you go into the field that that is not exactly what it's about, right? That there is mm-hmm. something else that was missed and to your question which is very very laserly focused on should we go and get some work experience to see what that's like and i i think that it's important to look at the biases as well as to look at things that are not as biased and and then to look at the facts of what happens when you go to medical school so in order to go to go to medical school, you must go through four years of undergraduate. Mm-hmm. And those four years, if you look at how it impacts your timeline, you finish high school, you might be 17 or 18, and, um, and then what happens is you have to add four more years. So now you, if you go at 17, we use that number, you add four years. Now you're 21 when you graduate. And then if you then go to medical school, which is another four years, you're now 25 when you graduate. And if you spend any time in between to get some work experience, um, that also accumulates. And so you'll be graduating medical school a little bit later than 25. Could be 29, could be 26, but definitely not 25, you know, straight through, right? Mm-hmm. So now you have to ask yourself, what happens during the ages when you're in school? Well, you know, when you're younger, um, you, you have a lot of flexibility. Um, when you're younger, you're able to bounce back from a lot of things. But as you get older, certain things happen in your life. Uh, your hormones start acting a little different. And you might start thinking about the biology of it. Um, because we're always tied to our biology of, you know, should I, could could I have, should I have been somewhere else and what Mm -hmm. my life would be if I found this, you know, we're, we're all, um, talking here. So you might, you might think about finding that special someone Mm -hmm. and then how does that fit in the equation? Right now, then you remove yourself, you know, and from the thought process and you think about oh medicine 
why do I want to go into medicine? I want to save people, I want to save lives. Hopefully that's the answer, right? <laughs> Some people go into medicine and say, no, I want to um, I want to make money. Well, making money, while um, it is correlated to having a degree in medicine, yeah. uh, it's also correlated with you have to spend time. And some forms of making money don't have to spend as much time, mm -hmm. right? So then you start valuing and asking, what's the value of time? How much does time matter? Uh, when you're young, you, you have all the time in the world, so it doesn't matter as much. But remember, you're going to be getting older as you go through this process. And so it's not so easy to go back in time for sure, right? You can't really think back at, wow, I now wake up and it starts to hurt. It hurts. Um, and that doesn't happen exactly at 25 mm -hmm. or most, but definitely for more it will start happening when you're 30 31 so you're 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 now closer to things not working right mm -hmm. um the nasal hairs in a male's um in a male in a human male's nose uh starts to grow um out of the nasal cavity and stick out at you know the prime age of about 40 years old <laughs> so yeah. Right. And at 50, you know, the ear, the hairs in your ear start growing um, and they can come out and um, and they can also point in. If yeah. we move ourselves out of the United States, we're <clears throat> so U.S. centric, right? Mm -hmm. In this conversation, you're you're both of you are in the United States. I'm in the United States. So we think of doctor salaries as um, as high. And in many countries, developed countries, they are higher. But in some countries like Bangladesh, a doctor's salary is lower than many other professions. It's just an ordinary kind of thing. So now you remove the money part of it, right? And then would you still want to go into medicine? And that, that allows you to really deeply think and reflect and don't let anybody know your answer. It's just very internal, right? You have mm -hmm. to be well with your answer and think about why you do this. And then we add in a third component that, Bangladesh or the United States had a um, experience with this kind of event and it's called COVID, mm. right? And mm. now, you you know, when everybody can stay home, remember the, 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 uh, the advertisements that talked about, you know, stay home, put on your mask so that we can do our work. Well, how did that feel? And that certainly affected some individual's decision on what they wanted to do with mm -hmm. um, with the advent of COVID and the experience of COVID. So we need to be well with our decision, and that's that's the that's the the process to get to the answer, rather than me to answer yes, do this or no, do that. And in fact, think about what the prior generation. Um, oftentimes did, which is, here's the four professions you should take. Um, law, doctor, lawyer, right? Um, or uh, accountant, computer scientist. <laughs> those, are, mm -hmm. those are the big four, right? And yeah. then you let it run. But the person saying that oftentimes was not a doctor, was not a lawyer, was not a computer scientist, and was not an accountant, right? So they actually don't mm -hmm. know anything about what they're saying. So how did you arrive at that conclusion? Was it television programming? That's, by the way, that's uh, very jokingly, right? It doesn't have to be. Oh, mm -hmm. our friends are talking about it. Hmm. Now, do you know how much time one has to spend to go study medicine? First of all, you're going to study all the things that you learned in high school, um, like the physics, the AP physics, and the AP mm -hmm. chemistry. But now you have to do that on a higher level in, in university. You have to keep your grades. Well, that's important, right? Otherwise, you're you're not going to qualify for all those going in there. Um, you're pretty competitive, and you should you should be because the whole the whole um, ability to screen the best doctors. But who doesn't want the best doctors? So you're going to want to only accept the best students. Of course, best student does not correlate to best doctor. That's an interesting right mm -hmm. thought process. Is maybe they don't want to be a doctor, but you know, 
parents said to be a doctor. And that that might be a, um, an issue, right, for patient care. Mm -hmm. But we ignore that because we're, you know, as long as you have great grades and you understand it. But now think about the individual. You learned all your chemistry so that you can maybe have some breakthroughs in life. And now you're going to throw away that chemistry because, you know, you're on your way. You want to go into medicine, right? So you you may never, you, you may you may have discovered the billion dollar idea, but that won't be you because you had to go to medical school. <laughs> and so, and then if you, just because you know organic chemistry and you can build molecules or you learned a lot of your other chemistries, there's physical, there's analytical, um, you're not going to use that while you're seeing patients, right? You have to follow the protocol. So medicine um, has protocols. Uh, if you're working in a hospital, you're doing so, so certain things, you look at the relationship of the symptoms and what you can rule out as the disease if you're going to practice. Now, let's pretend we get all get into medical school. Do you know mm -hmm. in medical school, there's another hierarchy is that, you know, if you're an ordinary in fact, nobody's ordinary that gets into medical school, by the way, getting in. I'm not talking about the ones that want to get in, but getting in and accepted. Um, now you start comparing. Uh, mm. If you're going to be a family doctor in, in internal medicine, that's like that's like the, the, the most ordinary kind of, of medical doctor. The real doctors are the orthopedic surgeons, the, the brain surgeon, Right, the um, the oncologist is definitely still, you know, uh, it's going to be like at a different level. The specialist, the dermatologist, right? So, wait a minute, all those require more schooling <laughs> to be the specialist. So, you, you know, you asked me medicine or no medicine and those things, but I brought you into um, the finer details of of medicine. Of uh, you want to be an ordinary doctor or an extra, a more extraordinary doctor. And so, whoa, that's that's detailed, right? <laughs> that's a yeah. detail that no one usually asks. I was in there, so I um, I know, I thought about those things. And I also was an MD, PhD candidate, meaning that I was also doing my PhD at the same time of doing the MD. Oh, wow. And that that's gonna take you 10 years. Right? So not, not four years, it's gonna be 10 years. And then like, if you're an MD, PhD, and you just have your PhD, but you don't discover anything, that's puts you back into the family doctor level. So, so that then you need to be extraordinary from there. So, you start adding ten years onto uh, twenty-one, gets you thirty-one, and if you add in another five years, that gets you the thirty-six. And if you did what I did, which was I worked in the pharmaceutical uh, at Pfizer, and to get to Pfizer, you have to do laboratory work. Uh, so that they can then think you're capable. And then from there, you want to use, if you want to use that skill, then you have to work and maybe work for a few years, which I did, which was three years. So you start stacking those numbers and pretty soon you could be 40, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Where the nose hairs go grow <laughs> out of the nose. So yeah, um, I brought you on a journey that um, that is not so good, but it gets you deep deep thought we want deep thought we want to know and choose wisely mm. right choosing wisely and most people don't discuss about choosing wisely they just discuss about choose what do you mm. want to be when you grow up